All right, welcome back to the Marshall Ramsey Show. It's Friday, July 1st, and we have a huge treat for you now. We have Jason Fratizzi and the Dirt Road Jam Band. They are jammed literally in the studio, uh, just like the Wildlife Show. We, usually the Wildlife Show has 90 people in here, and we have about top that record. Y'all, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. No, it, it's awesome. Now, uh, real quickly, I'm, before I get started, I want y'all to introduce e yourselves, so go ahead and we'll start. I guess right there. Okay, I'm Freddie Hart and I play the guitar and the bass. Uh, my name is Matt Gilmer, I'm the lead guitarist. Jason Fratizzi, the lead vocals and rhythm guitar. Jeff Matthews, drums, percussion, spoons, rapper. slash manager, rapper. <laughs> <laughs> and all of and uh, new dad, I might add. Congratulations. Thank you. you Mama, speak. if you're listening, I love you. Thank you for letting me come and do this. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. I, 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 Having just your third child, and third. Uh, welcome to the three world. I've got three myself, and uh, you said you've been sleeping on that man cot that they put in the in the rooms. So yes, you, if sleeping, if if that's what you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, but it, 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 they've been treating us great at St. Dominic, so thank you very much. Uh, uh, everything, uh, Charlie. I love you too, little girl. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. You just pulled something off that my wife never could ever get me to pull off in getting a girl. So, but yeah, those those uh those beds kind of allow you to simulate what it's like to give birth. So <laughs> <laughs> enjoy that, man. Well, I mean, Jason, you're from Leland, Mississippi. Yes. I was up your way, I guess, last week. I was up in Greenville, went through Leland. Uh, you and Jim Henson. That's, yeah. Uh, on that. But. He got a little more notoriety than I have. But. Well, you know, not yet. You're working on it. You know, he had a little bit of a head start. Yeah. And he had a frog. But, um, I mean, y'all, I'm listening to your music. You're fantastic. I heard you out there warming up in, in, the, in the hallway. You're great acoustically. You're good electric. So, I mean, I predict great things. But, I mean, how did you get started doing this? Um, I started when I was about 18, uh, honestly, in a karaoke bar, which I, I don't know if I've been in one since. You're, uh, you're a lot better than most people in not, karaoke Not bars. knocking a karaoke bar, I just yeah. haven't been back. But uh, I got hooked up with a buddy, Raymond Longoria. I don't know if he's a listener or not, but a guy that's played music around Greenville forever. Plays uh, any instrument he can pick up, just a great musician. And then uh, did that for several years. Stopped doing it when I had kids. I've got three of my own. Hello, Ava, Eli, and Jace. And my wife Jamie, there. I think they're on the way to Jackson, so they're listening. Um, and then it, it just kind of we we quit for a while, and actually went to a party where Raymond, my old buddy, was playing, and Jeff and I were there, and he had played the spoons with us some, so we started kind of jamming out a little bit with each other, and it just we decided to get back into it and kind of gone from there. I mean, Jeff playing the spoons—that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I couldn't afford a drum set at yeah. the time, so uh, that's how I kept the beat. Yeah, and it's easy to steal spoons. That's right. Yeah, I did it all times in college. So. i tell you, my, the funniest story, I think, I, we're getting ready for a show. It was a couple of weeks ago, and I get a text from my wife right before we go on stage, and she says, please bring all the spoons home. <laughs> we don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> We play Leland and Green, but we don't have any more either. So my wife is kind of, she doesn't like to see him come. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll keep you out of the cafeteria. Here. I was about to say, you don't have any I can borrow. Do you? Yeah, uh, oh, no, yeah, no problem. Right over here. We'll get you. We'll hook you up. That's not a problem. Y'all got a new album coming out. Yes. CD or whatever we call them these days. Uh, that's, that's awesome. When's it going to be out? Um, it should be out. June. I'm looking at Calvin, our, our creative director. July 29th. July 29th. Um, we're going to have a release party at Phillips on the Res, yeah. and um, and they're going to launch that album. So hopefully it'll do well. And that's uh, "Heart Crying Out Loud" is the name of the new one, right? Well, the the name of the album is "Crying Out Loud." Yeah. It's, it's named after a song, "Heart Crying Out Loud." Oh, okay. that's, that's on the album. Okay. Well, I, I can't read well, so I wrote that down wrong. But that's no, that's, that's fine. That's going to be good, and you'll be able to get it everywhere, right? Yes, um, we will be be on um, iTunes within a couple of weeks, probably seven to. 14 days, so it'll, it'll be in advance of the actual physical CD. Okay. So you'll be able to order yeah. it on the net before the actual CD comes yeah, out. Yeah, a couple weeks before that, that July 29th date. Right. So that's, that's awesome. And uh, I mean, how exciting are you? Is that your first technical album? Your it, first official yes, one? Yes, yes. And um, well, it's been a very neat, very neat uh, experience. We've gotten to, on the album, we, we met up with a guy named Rick Holt. Um, a, a big producer from Nashville. He doesn't think he's a big producer, but he actually co-produced one of the biggest, uh, or the biggest um, album that Kenny Chesney's ever had, um, No Shirt, No Shoes. And we got hooked up with him through another friend and through Jeff that was a buddy of a, uh, in another band. 
and, and things kind of fell in place. We, we actually got to sit in the room and play with some of the best musicians in the world, and I mean that literally. Uh, Reese so Wines, uh, JT Cornfloss, Chad, Chad Pearson. Chad Cromwell. I mean, they, these guys, I actually looked at Ronnie Dunn's last <coughs> CD that came out, which is a great album, and uh, he's got on his credits. I always look through the credits now after having that experience, and he's got three of the same musicians that we have on ours playing on his. And I thought that was Michael Rhodes, our bassist. I listened to an interview with Ronnie Dunn the other day, and he said, uh, he said the neatest thing about making this CD, and this was a quote, was to be able to sit in a studio and watch Michael Rhodes play bass. And, and I just, I got chill bumps because we did the exact same thing. It was, it was pretty neat. And Jason really won't, he's, he's such a humble guy. He, um, I got in touch with Rick Holt, and I said, you have to hear this guy. You just need to hear him. Literally, by the time he heard Jason's voice, which was recorded on his wife's iPhone and emailed, uh, two weeks later, Jason's in Nashville sitting right there with Rick Holt. So he, he's got an amazing voice, and his whole family. He's my wife's first cousin, so uh, we, we, he sang the Ave Maria in Italian at our wedding. I think he sang in your wedding. He sang in my wedding, yeah. He's, sang, he's singing everybody's wedding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, Jason probably sang at your wedding. The wedding singer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man, I'm just gonna have to call my wife. Tell us we're gonna have to break up and get back together. Just seeing everything in ours. Everybody keeps telling us you have to pay your dues, and, and we've been paying. Them. He was in the first really band I was in. Freddie was. We've been paying our dues for almost 20 years, and we don't. We don't know. I think you keep paying them forever. Oh yeah. Yeah, that never yeah. quits. Well, I think you're gonna appreciate it so much too, because I mean, like I said, folks. I mean, when you hear them here in a couple minutes, you're gonna be just amazed. Y'all sound great, and then all it takes is one iPhone message, and then boom. Europe up in Nashville. Isn't that amazing how that works? It is. We're just waiting on that one message. So. Yeah. Well, but, uh, it's been. If it doesn't happen, we've had a great time. Uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, I tell you what. Why don't we got a little bit of time? Why don't we go ahead and get y'all to play a song? Okay. And uh, just so the folks can hear what we're talking about a little bit. So uh, th th this is Jason Fertiz from the Road Jam Band, <laughs> and uh, I just still can't believe you just came straight from the hospital. Because <laughs> I was just like, I was so dumb, I couldn't drive after about three or four days well, of that band chair. These, these guys have to tell me that I'm, I'm late about 20 minutes before I get here, just so I'll get here on time. So uh, I, uh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Well, <laughs> well I'm glad everybody's doing well, too, at the hospital also. So. Well, they, uh, we are, too. All right, now what's this one? What y'all going to play for me? This is Crying Out Loud. It's a song that I wrote. Um, Actually, after a gig, and I was in the shower, and, and a train went by and honked its horn, and uh, I, it just made me think of the lyrics. I got out and went and wrote the song about 2 o'clock in the morning, and then Rick, our producer, got it and liked it and changed up just a couple of lines in it, but, but really gave it a different sound. So uh, this is the one that the album's named after, and hopefully it'll be our single. We're not sure yet what's going to be the single, but this may be it. All right. 